Good evening everybody, this is Nauta again and I got one question from my YouTube subscriber and his name is Miroslav Donchev. He said, hello Nelka, how is the way to create room with different height in the main hall? I have a big hall and inside I have a small office room with different height. Here you can see it. Okay, so let's just see it. And then, then, I ha then I have to install in both of them luminary and calculate the lighting. Thank you, thank you in advance. Okay, all right. So let's see what he got. Oh, all right. So this is the image that he sent us. So it's a big hall. It's like an industrial with dresses here. And then I think this is the first room, the higher one. And then there's a small room. I think this one is 2.6. And this is 5.85 so let's go and do it so let's start to build our one big room let's imagine this is his hall okay let's just make it like this and then uh, we will put rooms inside of this hall uh, let's just measure it how big is this oh my god it's so small okay let's make it bigger widen it up like this all right and then let's put the um, exterior wall here and then so let's just imagine this is the big warehouse where the trusses is located and then for example I want to create a small room here for the office and another room room here with a higher one so what I'm going to do so let's go and check in 3d and let's make this one as for example um eight meters Ooh, okay it's too high all right so what i'm going to do is i will create a new room and the first room will be for example 2.6 meters only so what you're going to do is press this draw new building contour press this one and you will say yes and i will draw the office here which has 2.6 only okay so you can see now I have one room here and it's tall and then I will create the room or the office for example here and then I will go and make sure that when I run a calculation it is really a 2.6 height so I'll go to the assessment zone and label this one as 2.6 only Okay, so when you go to the 3D, I have now 2.6 height. So the calculation uh, for this room is up to 2.6 meters only. Okay, and then I will create a new one. And I will make this one as, for example, 5 meters. So I will draw another one. Oops, I think I selected a wrong one. It should be outdoor. Draw new building contour first yes i will say yes and then i will draw it like this and then close polygon now you can see i have a new room and then i will create a wall on that room and then this is my interior wall and if i said this is five meters i have to make sure that in my cal calculation it is five meters because in the calculation report it must be shown that it is five meters i will press the assessment zone and press 5 meters so you can see now I have 2 meters here for my office and another one is 5, meter, five meters here but okay so this is the catch if I want to really really show that this room when I go inside is really 5 meters and 3 meters so what I'm going to do is I need to cut it properly so what I'm going to do is I will go to the elevation view and um, I will press my uh, reference line and then I will use this one as a guideline. So I will say 2.6. Now this is my 2.6 and I will create a new one and I will say this is 5 meters. I press 1 so this is my 5 meters and this is my 2.6 and then I will go here and cut use the cutout tab and then just cut it 
Okay, I hope my oh, okay. So what I'm going to do is I selected the first room which is supposed to be 2.6 so I'll go and cut it with 2.6 So what I'm going to do is I will just move it there like that boom 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 and then either I will go here and increase it so right click and edit the polygon and just increase it and if you want to really uh, should I, sh I have to do it in a plan view because otherwise it will destroy the X and Y so go to the plan view and right click and then scale press the word scale and then press the word scale and then you go, here you go now it's cut so physically you now have 2.6 meter room inside the 8 meters uh, hole and then if I want to cut it in 5 meters I'll just go and press again the cut out tool and cut it and then I'll go to the elevation view right click and move it down uh, okay up to here if you want to have a precise one just go and grab the point and do like that and then right click uh, right other side and then edit the polygon and then make sure it is aligned super duper aligned so otherwise it will not cut properly okay and then if you want to m move further go to the plan view and just like what I did um, scale it okay so we're almost done and there you go so now i have 2.6 meters room inside a 8 meter hall and a 5 meters room so when i go to the documentation for example let's see how it looks and then if i go to the room summary see i have the clearance of 8 meters oh this is for the room 8 the whole the overall and then if i go to the room 9 this is 2.6 see it shows 2.6 and if i go to the room 5 or 5 meters height it is 5 meters so it's very important that you created your assessment zone height because you will not get this one when you calculate it will show 5 meters and the clients will say what happened it should be um 5 meters only why it is 8 so um the the proper way is to um, label it properly in your assessment zone okay don't forget this is the assessment zone press this one and change the height all right okay so there you go um what is his name again mirrors love i hope you love this video tutorial and if you really love it just um press the thumbs up and uh, just say thank you to me all right, so see you again next time and sayonara. Bye-bye.